I am Kiyo Akasaka, I'm the Secretary General for Communications and Public Information of the United Nations. I am very pleased to welcome all of you here tonight for a screening and discussion of the movie Invictus in honor of the Inter International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. This event has been organized by the Department of Public Information in collaboration with the New York Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. It is sponsored by the Permanent Mission of South Africa to the United Nations. We thank them warmly for their support. We are very fortunate to have with us tonight a number of special guests. Let me first welcome the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, and Madam Bam, the Permanent Representative of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Ambassador Basso Sangtsu, and the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Ms. Navi Pire. We are also delighted to have us uh, to, to have with us uh, to participate in the discussion after the film, the producer of Invictus, Ms. Laurie McCreary from Revelations Entertainment, as well as Mr. Nicholas Hayson Fink, what we call him, political director in the executive office of the Secretary General and former chief legal advisor to President Mandela. To open tonight's event, first of all, I have the great pleasure to invite the Secretary General to say a few words. What well, a perfect timing to see this movie, just a four months before the first <coughs> celebration of Nelson Mandela International Day on July 18th, just a three months before World Cup, beginning of World Cup in South Africa, <coughs> June 11th and just five days before the annual celebration observance of International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, which marks the anniversary of the massacre of nonviolent protesters at Sharpeville in 1960. <clears throat> and what an appropriate place to see this film here at the United Nations which so strongly supported the people of South Africa in their struggle against the inhumanity of uh, apartheid. The triumph over racist, racist domination was a victory for all South Africans. But it also helped to shape the conscience of the international community. One might even say that Invictus, in coming to the United Nations, has come home. In certain respects, we all know how the story ends. <clears throat> South Africa successfully transformed itself into a non-racial democratic state and did so without the violence that had been feared. That said, I don't know the outcome of the rugby match, so there's a bit of suspense there. <laughs> you will watch. <clears throat> but I have seen the preview and I have been waiting for this time. I have been reserving until today to see at the United Nations. High Commissioner, you have the floor. Um, it's a great privilege to have the Secretary General for the screening of Invictus. Um, I saw the movie already, so I know who won. <laughs> if we didn't win, we won't be showing this movie here, I think, at best. Um, I, I, ju I just want to use my two minutes to say to you that I, I stand before you as one of those who was in the middle of this fear and bitterness that the Secretary General um, referred to in 1990 when President Mandela came out of. There was no way we were ready to accept a conciliation, including me. Um, we, we nursed uh, the humiliations we suffered every day and when we thought of rights in those days, we thought of rights for black people, the oppressed people. Um, so under the leadership of President uh, Mandela, the country changed and, and we owe to him um, 
the method he used to reach out to us. Firstly, he was very transparent. Everything that was discovered, uh, discussed for the constitutional process was made known to the entire public in all the different languages. And, and, and every change he made was public. He spoke in terms of rights for all, human rights for all. He spoke in terms of respecting the dignity of all. Um, the first shock for us w was when President Mandela um, adopted the national anthem and put in there the dreaded uh, Afrikaans language that all black students um, hated. So that, that was really the first shock. The anthem, and you will hear it in the film, as English, Afrikaans, and Sotho, everyone accepts that uh, anthem, and we're very proud to sing it today. Um, the other factor that is you will hear him say in the movie that when they, when they didn't have television, they had radios on Robben Island Prison, and he would listen to matches. And like everyone, every... Uh, black person outside, Mr. Mandela himself, always rooted for the visitor. We never rooted for the South African team. And this is what he had to change. He had to get all of us to support the national team. And, and he uh, managed that. I was one of those who, uh, who cheered uh, for that match. And, and, and I benefited from the transformation and his emphasis on human rights for all and dignity for all. So thank you very much, Ambassador, for uh, uh, making this film available today. Thank you, Madam Pillay. Now I would like to introduce tonight's film. In the words of Nelson Mandela, sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. This film is about exactly that. A nation long divided by race is the stage for one of the world's biggest sporting events. The 1995 Rugby World Cup in South Africa was a turning point in uniting the country and promised new hope for the future. Invictus was directed by Clint Eastwood and produced by Revelations Entertainment, a company that was founded in 1996 by Academy Award-winning actor Morgan Freeman and producer Lori McCreary. Let me take this opportunity to thank Warner Brothers Entertainment, Marpasso Productions and Revelations Entertainment for their support for this screening. Please enjoy the movie and please stay for what I'm sure will be a very interesting discussion afterwards with Ambassador Sanctu, Ms. McCrary and Mr. Hasten. Thank you very much. <laughs>